muchachos e muchachas. Welcome to the end of October. Today is October 31st, 2022, Halloween. Um, and tomorrow we walk into November where you guys already see that I got my Christmas tree up. I've got two Christmas trees in my place. This is just my studio Christmas tree. I'm going to put up the bigger Christmas tree probably this weekend because it takes a little bit more work and effort. But anyway, with that being said, uh, as we are talking on Halloween, as you guys know, over the weekend, there were many parties, people dressed up in Halloween costumes. Some of these costumes, admittedly, are hilarious. I saw one, <laughs> I saw one where they, they pretended to be a car wash. I mean, you know, it's like things that are kind of not inescapable that are, are so comedic. Um, and then what, one guy dressed up as Nick Cannon with all the babies. I mean, I've seen a lot of really funny, the uh, parody costumes on social media. And then we have the edgy costumes, right? Like, and this has been a thing Halloween after Halloween where people try to be edgier and edgier and edgier, right? And like, uh, try to uh, kind of get that shock factor out of people. But yesterday, Megan Fox posted on her Instagram uh, the costumes of her and her partner, Machine Gun Kelly, in which Oh, triggered a lot of backlash, a lot of backlash. And, um, you know, it is a target on a Christianity. And that's one point that a lot of people are arguing as well. It's never any other religion. It's always the Christians that are being picked on. And, uh, you know, and I kind of took a step back to kind of assess my um, my feelings and the way that I uh, had these sentiments of what I was seeing, it caused me to think um, in much more deeper ways, like the hurt of people, what these celebrities uh, must be caught up into. I mean, I, I know it's a weird thing to kind of even insert in all this, but anyway, I'll fill you in on what I'm talking about, what my thoughts are. Hold on to your butts, secure your wigs, stay right there. We're gonna go through it. I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, the easiest home security system to install, Camera Bulb. This guy, all you need to do is find a light bulb socket, screw it in, and then you control the rest on your app. Now this guy has two-way audio, full color night vision, and it's got real-time alerts that go straight to your phone. You could get it at camerabulb.com. All right, so guys, let's take a look at the post that I'm talking about um, before we go, get into you know my thoughts and my sentiments about all this. Uh, of course, I'm sure I'm going to get into some sentiments as I'm describing this to you. Now, Megan Fox, she posted this yesterday, and it is a picture of Machine Gun Kelly dressed up in a priest type of, I guess, costume. Um, seems a bit satanic in my personal opinion, but especially the saddest part is Megan Fox on the floor um, taking communion. But, you know, upon closer detail, you'll see that she's also chained up. Uh, there's another picture where Machine Gun Kelly seems to be leading her by the chain. And guys, this is just like more sad than anything when I think about it. Now, yesterday I did post that, you know, celebrity culture, celebrity society has gotten to a point where you really think about it, where they have to pose in these costumes of satanic uh, worship and human tea wording in order to get their jollies, right? Like they... This is how they they get their shock value now is by going the extreme length to, you know, parody a religion, parody a Christianity. Well, you know, uh, people will say that Christianity is a religion. It's more of a relationship with uh, uh, directly with God. Um, but, you know, that, that's the thing. Like, let's just take it from the religious stance, right? You never see celebrities ever, ever making fun of any other religion. I mean, you maybe back in the 90s when we were living in much edgier, you know, I say edgy like that, but maybe back in the 90s where cancel culture wasn't as viable as it is now because we have social media and it's much easier to, um, you know, uh, exhibit cancel culture. But, you know, the, and the, that's where all these other 
older generation celebrities like these talk show hosts and these comedians who now virtue signal out on social media and then people dig up old footage and old skits of theirs and they're clearly in um, the costumes that they go out and come for other people for, right? Um, so what was I getting to with all that? So back in the 90s, like, you know, it was much more, I guess, it was much more easy to get away with it without getting canceled. Today, think about this. Like, you won't get canceled if you mimic and you parody Christianity, but you will get canceled if you do that to any other religion. Is that not crazy? And the thing about it is a lot of the comments, actually, a lot of the comments from, um, you know, people from different religions were actually giving their two cents. Like, you know, there were people that were Muslim in the comments saying like, I'm not Christian, but this is like a slap to the face. This is mockery. Um, but the, I think the, the saddest thing is that they have to, they actually are, are at such a low point in their lives where they have to spiritually, emotionally, mentally, right? They might have all the money in the world. They could probably go buy their happiness momentarily, but really like inside, it seems like they're really suffering to the point where they have to get this shock value. Like when you really think about the mentality of all this and you see this, I mean, this is not just Machine Gun Kelly and this is not just Megan Fox. You see this in our culture. I mean, you know, how many Fashion Nova ads have we? You know what I mean? Like how many Fashion Nova ads have we seen where the clothes are, are getting skimpier and and uh, more bare, right? And that's not just, that's not Halloween. That's like on an everyday basis. So, you know, the culture is to blame for all of this, right? And, um, and like, I, I get it. Like people are going to still wear costumes. People are still going to get, uh, still go out and all these things. It's just, you know, there used to be a boundary. There used to be, and if it if it crossed that boundary, like then it's like all the attention will go that way. But my point being that it is so normalized now that this is just like you see. You also see a mixture of the comments saying like, "Leave Megan uh, Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly. Let them be. They're happy. Like this is what they're." They want to do, uh, don't mom shame her because she's, a, you know, a mom, she's a mom. And it's like, you know, a lot of people's comments had, um, concerns over that. Like, yo, your children are going to see this in the future. Right? So there was one part that I wanted to mention in all this. Now, Megan Fox actually, uh, was captured in an article by USA Today, uh, actually earlier this year, talking about being objectified when she was younger. So this is what kind of gives me a little bit more, I guess, I, like, I, I want to feel sorry for her because it's like, you know, what, is she being directed to do right now? What kind of substances or what is she blinded by right now or what? Because uh, in Glamour UK, when she was, uh, she, and I think you guys remember this, I think this is an interview where she was talking about her and Machine Gun Kelly taking each other's blood and all this stuff. But, you know, ironically, she's talking about her being objectified when she was younger in Hollywood and how she stood against it and yet she's over here in the public eye objectifying herself willingly. I mean, I just think that that's ironic and I think that that should open up the eyes for many people who are defending all of this and normalizing this as if this is, you know, just a norm that we should all accept. Um, another point that I wanted to make in all this is the double standards that you see in what's going on with, you know, uh, I know that, that Kanye West is saying some things and, you know, maybe it's, he's not articulating himself, um, the way that, uh, it comes out. So more, much more eloquent, I guess, for the wider public to receive. I think that's the best way to put it. Um, but the thing is like, you see all these brands and industries and all of these companies canceling Kanye for his remarks on, uh, you know, uh, on what he's talking about right now. But you will never see that sort of backlash as an industry, as a conglomerate 
when it comes to Christians, is that not a double standard? Like people can say whatever they want. They can, uh, you know, basically go to the bottom barrel to slap Christians in the face, but yet people will go out and out of their way to cancel the ever living lights out of con someone like Kanye, right? Or someone who, who you know, ha has thoughts and opinions, right? It's just mind blowing the double standard that we are living through today. So anyway, guys, those are just some thoughts that I wanted to, um, to give you guys. I, I feel like more sad for Megan Fox for whatever reason. I just feel like maybe she's on, she might be on substances and, you know, it's, it, maybe she's being directed by people to do these types of things. Maybe possibly more probable than anything. And, um, you know, just the things that we don't see in celebrities, it just makes you wonder even more. And it kind of, I mean, I, it, it's hard for me to say to have more empathy for them that we don't see what's going on in the background, but something drastic must be going on with these celebrities for them to be that disrespectful, right? Like, I don't know. In my personal opinion, I don't think they're in full control. I think they're, there's someone behind the curtain that also pulls this, but also Machine Gun Kelly, like not a good look for a man, right? Not a good look to lead your woman like that and, you know, lead her on a chain. And anyway, there, there's so much more that I could say. But with that being said, uh, guys, I hope that you are safe. I hope that you be safe if you are going out tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.